Team Solo Mid against the number three seed Halcyon Hammers Velocity. TSM immediately takes away Arden, and no surprise that Adagio is off the board. Yeah, so something we've been seeing a lot today is the prioritizing of banning out the roamers, and this makes it a lot easier for them to actually uh, gauge their opponents and figure out how to build their composition ahead of time. All right, we've seen Call the Meek on that sky. They want call sky again. Well, Call the Meek plays sky, but Mixi also plays sky, so it's so actually well. very hard to de really depict here because Team Solo Mid has been like throwing out a bunch of different composition, and it really surprises, like even for an analyst, even for somebody that watches a lot of their game footage, the, everything is always new. Are we going to see D'Enzio on Vox in this game? Hopefully, like, they left Vox open, but I'm assuming that uh, TSM, they came into this uh, already in mind, like, they know ahead of time that these guys like to rely on that Vox, and most, and we see right here, Vox being picked up then again. All right, so Flash X, uh, don't always see him on a Catherine, but it's pretty much all that's left here unless we're going to see a Finn pick, right? Yeah, and with them, they're so open in terms of Flash X being able to play a lot of uh, different heroes. But seeing as he's already highlighted this Catherine, I feel like as long as they're able to maintain this early jungle pressure, they can really push over to the Velocity side. As long as they don't let Dienzio on that Vox just get too much free farm. All right, so a lot of pressure going to be on Veins in this game to hit those Crucibles, block those Blast Tremors, prevent the silence across the board, keep an eye, of course, on D'Enzio. All those Sonic Zooms coming out of him as he repositions on that Vox, able to keep his distance, trying to hit that Wait For It ultimate, turn the tide of fights. A couple of really slippery heroes in this game that'll be fun to watch, and TSM rounds out with a Ringo. Yeah, so with this pick here, I have a slight feeling that we will be seeing Call of Meek uh, playing out this Ringo up in the lane. Mainly just because like so many times over and over again, like he's been building all these like double proc builds and he just goes straight for that burst damage. But overall, like their team is so diverse where they can fill up any position and pretty much execute their strats. All right, a Ringo on one side, a Fortress on the other. Which team is more likely to aggress here real quick? To be honest, like they do have a Glaive here. So I do expect Velocity to put a lot of attention to that laning phase, trying to get up as much ganks as they can. All right, that's it. Let's go to the first match. To our casters, it's Action Jackson and Vedius. Thank you very much, guys. We are super hyped to be casting this game. Team Solo Mid versus Halcyon Hammers Velocity. You know it's going to be an awesome one. Vedius, how are you feeling heading into this game? I feel this could very well be uh, a finals-worthy game between these two teams. Definitely. You have the already bright star that is Team Solo Mid going up against the rising star of Halcyon Hammers Velocity, and I can only expect sparks to fly between these two teams. Oh, absolutely. Well, we are into the fold, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be one of the big matches today. It's going to be interesting to see who can take this one away. You might think Team Solo Mid coming in at first seed has a very big edge, but we've heard before that Halcyon Hammer's Velocity did actually come very close to taking a win off of them before, so they've got what it takes. It was such a, a, a sad game to watch as well, because you sat there <laughs> and you thought, are Halcyon Hammer's really about to win this game? And then right at the end, it was just, it was just so unfortunate. One bad fight from Halcyon Hammer's and TSM were able to turn the game around, so they're going to be looking to try and rectify that. You heard Dienzio say in that video clip, they didn't deserve that win. So they're going to be trying their very best to get that win back, the win that they are owed, and the win that TSM stole from them. All right, well, for now, at least Velocity are playing a lot around Dienzio in the lane. I'm sure that they realize that potentially they need to keep him safe against early aggression that could come through from TSM. So because TSM got to the shop first, House and Hammers felt that by going to the shop that much later, they would have been at the disadvantage because they wouldn't have been able to buy. So they instantly rotated up to the lane because that was the best play that they actually had available to them. Try and get a bit of extra gold, a bit of extra experience. And then once TSM rotated away from the shop, then they can then move back down. But Call the Mook, he's going to use this as an opportunity to try and get some steal down, but the jungle camps have not respawned there. And as I say that, Call the Mook and Flash X, they're looking to try and steal away this healing camp. Oh, they might be able to find it. I think they did, in they fact. Did, yeah. So very well played by TSM. They got two camps just there and they didn't really have to fight for those they just walked in and took them so no real advantage opportunities even for velocity uh, to maybe pick a fight aloha is coming up into the lane right now looking for that afterburn onto mixi but he can't find it He's uh, holding on to that afterburn. Didn't want to go that aggressive on to make. He didn't know where TSM were. If they were happened to be in that back push, he would have paid for it with his life. So smart from him. 
But just having a look at these two team compositions and thinking about what the overall objective from these two teams are, Keep an eye on what Aloha is trying to do in terms of setting up the positioning because you have to remember, oh, hang on a second, Flash X has found Aloha. Yeah, he's going to face check him there, finds that first stun, pops the bubble. He's not going to take too much damage, but he's got to be careful now with the NZO rotating down here. That's the afterburn. Flash X in a bad spot. Already the first blood going the way of Velocity. Now Mechi, he's coming down as well. The NZO in a very tough spot, but he Sonic Zooms just out of the Surrey Strike. On the flip side, we got Aloha picking up a second kill. It is Halcyon Hammer's Velocity with the first big fight of the game. So that all comes down to a fantastic rotation from the NZO. He sacrificed the lane farm to be with his team because he knew that they could get the numbers advantage and they could go for the collapse. And speaking of collapse, yeah, Cole the Meek in a bit of a rough spot here, but he is doing a lot of damage with the Surrey Strike, with the forward barrage. Can Veins keep on top of him here? Dienzio does have a lot of mobility on that Vox, the ability to keep on Sonic zooming forward, but he didn't actually have vision there or the resonance strikes. Oh, it's still gonna be enough. That is the first kill. Going down onto Cole the Meek. Velocity really running away with this early game. They certainly are. They're using the numbers advantage that they consistently have to just get these kills all around the map. But you have to keep your eye on the gold because the farm coming out from Team Solar Mid is what is keeping them relevant so far. Look at this massive wave that has just stacked up for Mikchi and... Dienzio is going to lose a lot of farming experience as a result of this. And with Flash X up in the lane, Dienzio is just going to have to be forced away. This is really smart from TSM managing that, uh, that wave very, very nicely. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the gold, actually, you can see almost 1,000 in the lead for TSM over Velocity. Even though Velocity has these three early kills, a big part of that is the lane control that Mixi is exerting on the map. And it's something that Velocity have to be careful of because, you know, kills aren't the only way to get money in this game. No, if anything, kills in the early game especially don't really amount to that much unless you can move into the enemy jungle and take away their back camps because this farm is really the highest priority as Flash X taking a lot of damage. Oh, he is walking in and out of that bush. Look at the damage coming through. Dienzio finds himself the kill. This guy is on fire. Two kills and one assist already at four and a half minutes into the game. Wow, Dienzio once again punishing the overextension from Flash X, but HHF oh, done yet. Oh, what a great afterburn coming in from Aloha. Mixi thought he was just out of range of that, I think. He thought he was far enough away from the bush, but it wasn't good enough. And now Velocity starting to put some pressure onto objectives like this turret. I don't think they're going to be able to take it just yet, though. So Velocity demonstrating that they are here to play against the reigning world champions, Team Solo Mid, who have been on a bit of a crazy win streak ever since the qualifiers. I mean, they were able to 3-0 gang stars. They were able to 2-0 rage pingers yesterday and Velocity already putting them through their paces. They really are. And it's like you said, right as we got onto the fold, this really is a finals caliber of game. Right now, Velocity, they are still pretty behind in the money department, though, and that's actually getting bigger, not smaller. They got to keep their eye on that. The question is whether or not filtering the gold onto the right targets uh, is going to help them out here. Right now, TSM grouping up, starting to make some more aggressive maneuvers through the jungle, try and maybe get some vision down as well. I just really want to highlight how impactful that wave management up in the lane really was from TSM because yes, they sacrificed quite a lot in terms of kills, but because Dienzio wasn't able to properly shove the wave out and he went for that early rotation, TSM set up that freeze, which denied Dienzio farm and gave so much experience to Mixi, which is why he's got this massive CS advantage already. The one good thing for Velocity is that the plays they've been making have given them good control of the jungle. They had good vision, scout traps. That's going to turn into this gold miner for them. It's only a decent payout, just shy of 150 gold, but that's still pretty good to take. And also, I want to point out, we saw Aloha grab a tension bow a second ago, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage right now. Yeah, in the early game, though, you have to remember that it does start to scale off, so this to me says that TSM, they're going to start looking for these fights. They probably recognize that they have the farm advantage at this point in the game, uh, or the gold advantage even if you just look across the farm differences 65 to 47 between Mixi and Dienzio 41 to 32 in favor of Cull the Meek so when it comes to the farm game Team Solar Mid they seem to be good across the board yeah they are doing a great job of holding their own at least with regards to the gold even though the fights haven't been going their way 
but we could see that turn around at pretty much any moment. Cole the Meek doesn't have a lot of crystal power yet, but he's probably got enough to chunk some of the squishier members of Velocity out, and that's what they're going to look to do here. Hellfire Brew goes on to Dienzio. He just barely gets away oh. from that death from above, and now Mixi knocked onto the turret. He gets silenced by Wait for it, but Flash Axe is the next target. You can see Cole the Meek diving in. He finds the kill onto Dienzio. Can Velocity find a kill here? Everyone is so low. Veins, he might get dove again. Cole the Meek is so aggressive. Aggressive right now, Aloha gets the return kill, but that's the only one for Velocity. Wow! Team Solo mid going with the hyper aggressive tower dive, going for the tension, but we knew they wanted to fight now, and they did just that. Going for the dive from Cole the Meek between two towers and getting himself two kills, you can see why this guy is renowned throughout the world for being such a talented individual. Aloha. He's actually going to get away with that turret, so Very well what played. looked like a great fight for Team Solo mid, Aloha able to turn into Velocity's favor by picking up that objective. In fact, that's actually even the gold up quite a bit. We saw almost a thousand gold in the lead for TSM earlier. Now Velocity, they're 200 ahead, even though they just lost a tremendously close fight. So this game, about as close as you could ask for. The question is, who's going to be able to pull ahead? Vayne's face checks up. Bush, look at the damage going down onto him. Death from above comes across the team. Vayne's just barely staying alive. Flash X knocked into the turret. Dienzio gets the return kill. It's going to be a one-for-one -one trade. This is just so close, Vettius. Vayne stayed alive for so long with that Fountain of Renewal. And Flash X, he wasn't prepared for the burst. Afterburn. Oh, Mitchie! The Afterburn gets the kill for Dienzio. It's a one versus one between the two big carry players on these teams. Ford Barrage landing a lot of shots, but is Here it going to be enough? Dienzio trying to jump forward. The Scout oh. Trap doesn't hit Cole the Meek, but Dienzio still has more, and the minions are blocking all of that Ford Barrage. Dienzio! Oh, free flex, oh, free flex, oh. Dienzio just <laughs> barely gets away <laughs> with the kill. That was a highlight reel play oh, right there, but it's absolutely Enzio. insane. What a god. I thought that he was done for. When that reflex block came out from Cal the Meek, I thought, nope, that's it. He's gone. And he didn't even use his until after Cal so the Meek sick. was dead. The disrespect Dienzio showed right there. <laughs> he was very much about, yeah, I'm going to show you guys why we deserve this win. And wow, what a massive play. Alternating current now picked up for Dienzio. Incredibly mechanical player carrying that forward from what we saw from him yesterday. That was just mind-blowing. I think everyone needs to just sit up in their chairs and pay attention to Dienzio. TSM, that's got to be scary when you see a fight like that happen. Yeah, there are no TSM chants today. It's all about Dienzio. <laughs> I mean, this guy, for such a young player to be this talented, he... He only has a bright future from here on out. Oh, absolutely. Right now, TSM, though, they want to start turning this momentum in their favor, going for the gold mine. But look at this. Veins starting to force them back a little bit. Cold Meek does do a lot of poke. Dienzi also eating that Hellfire Brew. Can they find the steal Gets here? The steal. They managed to get it. Halcyon hammers with a great play. Dienzi, very low right now, though, has to try and back out of here. Mixi and Cold Meek still have very high health bars right now. Velocity in full retreat. Flash X can't find the stun. And it Looks like after the steel velocity, they're just going to be able to get away. That this very smart decision from them. They shouldn't try to force a fight right now, given how much damage Dienzio took. And he is one of the primary damage dealers for Velocity right now. So with him really out of commission, it, it was a super risky thing to actually try and fight that. They are going to lose their back camps. But as you rightly said, securing that gold miner is a massive objective for HH Velocity. And so far, they are playing this game so well. All right, let's just take stock of the entire game for a second because there's been so much action back and forth. Right now, Velocity are sitting at the gold lead. It's not a tremendous amount, though. I mean, it really is it's about 700 which isn't much at this point in the game, 11 minutes in. We've got way more kills on Velocity, but way more farm on TSM. They're both kind of competing in different battlegrounds, in a sense. They certainly are. I mean, Cole Meek currently sitting at level 11, 3-3-1, three, three and one, has finished the Frostburn, so he's going to have that utility, but it just helps him so much more in setting up for the forward barrage. Uh -oh. Make sure he's caught out, though. He does reflex block the afterburn, but the damage is still there from Aloha. He's saying hello and finds that kill. Cole Meek can flash X. They just need to rotate out of their jungle, get back to the safety of their turrets. Aloha might be trying to find more though. Flash X gets a stun onto the 
Dienzio. There's the knockback. Death from above lands off quite a lot of hits, actually, onto Dienzio. He's going to need to run out of there, and it looks like Velocity can't quite find the opening they were looking for. Aloha, it's me. I'm here to play, and I'm picking up that tension bow. He is doing so much damage at this stage in the game, and I don't think Mikju is prepared for it. Yes, he got a fantastic reflex block, but it just wasn't enough when you have that combined damage between the Fortress and the Glaive, and you're not going to be able to escape from that. With that kill and forcing the rest of TSM back, Velocity are able to secure themselves another gold mine, and they're going to extend their gold lead to about 1.4k. I mean, things are starting to look good for Velocity, but you've got to remember, if they, for example, try and dive a turret, then we might just see Cold Meat kiting back with that forward barrage constantly hitting them and maybe getting a kill off the back of that. The first turret falling for TSM. That's actually going to bring the gold in their favor, Whoa, but here's on. the fight. Flash Axe taking a lot of damage right off the back. Cold Meat gets knocked in. He doesn't find the reflex block. Big silence from Flash Axe, but Dienzio, he's on the back line. He's going for Mitchie. He goes down two super low members on TSM. They might not be done yet. Cold Meat diving onto the back line. James wants to go for it, but he has no damage right now. TSM just barely scraping out that fight. I think that was a big mistake from Dienzio. You had Cold Meek thrown straight into your face, yet you decide to run through the Catherine, past Cold Meek, and try and shut down Mixi. Yes, he is one of the major damage dealers for Team Solomid, but he was so far out of the fight that your priority should not be tunneled down onto him. You should have just taken the target that was closest to you and been happy with that, but no, he, he was a little bit too overconfident and ends up paying for it with his life, so TSM, they finally get a fight going in their favor. It was a fight in their favor, but it wasn't by very much. And I definitely think if Dienzio had maybe played that just a tad differently, things could have gone the way of Velocity. So TSM, they've got to stay sharp here. They've got to make sure their mental fortitude is on point and that they don't get too overridden with uh, the excitement of nearly winning a fight like that. Yeah, so game suddenly started to calm down a little bit. We had a very passive early game. Uh, the, during the mid-game, things have started to heat up a little bit more, and now we're working a little bit more towards that late game. Two item power spikes being reached by a number of members. You can see the alternating current and broken myth that now finished for Dienzio. Double Fountain of Renewal we're seeing from Veins and Aloha, and I know Tasty Bacon backstage is going to be watching that specifically because you know how uh, intimately he feels about the, the stacking of the Fountain of Renewal. So uh, it's, it's very important that... It, it's basically this build it, for Velocity is around Dienzio. They know he needs to be the carry. He's demonstrated that he can do it, and as long as he positions well and focuses the right targets, there's no reason why Velocity can't consistently come out ahead in these next few fights. I tell you, the gold lead just keeps bouncing back and forth between these two teams, only by a few hundred at a time as it currently stands at the moment. 300 in the lead for Velocity. The Kraken gonna be spawning in 15 seconds. I imagine that's gonna be a big point of contention for these two teams. Uh, highly probable. We're sitting... Yeah, the Kraken is just about to spawn, as you said. Goldmine has pretty much solely been controlled by Velocity, so the fact that Team Solomid have been able to keep such an even cold uh, disparity really demonstrates the talent that this Team Solomid uh, lineup has available to them. There is that lovely Kraken. Clearly, she uh, isn't too upset about you ditching her last night, but... Uh, yeah, it was all good. I, I just messaged her and explained, you yeah. know. So you'll get that rescheduled for another time? Yeah, probably. I mean, maybe maybe when we're over in Europe, actually. Maybe back when we're over in Europe. Yeah. But in any case, it does look like Halcyon Hammers decided to start the Kraken, but backed away from it, so... Too bad, because I, I don't think they realize this, but I mean, look at the positions of TSM. Two of them are in base, still. Yeah, still. I think they could still secure this. TSM have no vision. Uh, I think we all know how Flash X has been criticized for his lack of vision, very much playing around the use of flares as his primary source of vision, and as a result of this, Velocity gonna pick up a very easy Kraken. Surely Are TSM, they? okay, okay, okay. So TSM, they wanted to trade maybe some pressure in the lane, some turrets for that Kraken, but their bluff got called by Velocity. This is gonna be the engagement. Mixi and Cold Me taking a lot of damage right off the bat. Everyone on TSM actually fairly low. Veins just leads the charge, keeps them from backing up. Flash X oh, and Aloha nice. over the wall, finds the afterburn. We've got one return kill. Cold Meek was able to find the Glaive, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Dienzio and Veins, they're in hot pursuit. Cold Meat goes down. Velocity with an incredible read on TSM. They managed to pull off the Kraken when it had like just 
tiny amount of health left, it takes so much guts to do that. So I feel Velocity should have just taken the Kraken a lot earlier anyway and not allowed yes. it to reset twice. <laughs> um, <laughs> but regardless, yes, the decision to go for the fight was very courageous from Velocity, given the position that they were in. The only target that they could really focus was Flash X, and you don't want to be focusing the support. That is not what you want to be doing setting up these fights. But they just basically ran past Flash X. They paid him no heed whatsoever, put all of the focus down onto Mixi. And even though both Mixi and Cold Meek were able to escape, they took so much damage off the back of that, so they could really do nothing to come back into the fight. And then the over the wall cleanup aftershock from Aloha was just <laughs> icing on the cake for Velocity to secure themselves the ace, get themselves the Kraken. And even though the gold display disparity is very, very small. The momentum heavily in the favor of Velocity, but look at TSM. They're going for a sneaky play right oh, now. Oh, and they have not been spotted out here. Flash is gonna lead with that Blast Tremor. Aloha takes a lot of damage right off the bat. Oh, he's go. He needs to see oh. oh, Aloha! He's able to get out of there, and now Dienzo turns it around. Wait for it. He's gonna get popped on the Mixi. Cold Amik as well. Dienzo, he's gone. the first to fall, though. Flash X and his team are able to pick that one up. The Kraken still doing good damage to the turret, but the aggression from Velocity has been checked. They still want more trying to get out to cold Meek and Mixi right now you can see aloha jumping in the back line uh, he gets stunned up though he's gonna go down veins he's one versus three he can't find any kills cold Meek, look at how low he is but he's not gonna go down kraken is gonna fall in just a moment that was a beautiful answer to the push from team solo mid very unique strategy from team solo mid to just group up in the bush they knew that the push was going to come out from velocity Velocity did not expect that flank to come in, and you saw how quickly Aloha got deleted. That resulted in Dienzio being on the front line. He was not in a position to really get any reliable damage down. He ends up dying, and he might be dying Whoa, again right now. That damage on Dienzio is absolutely massive. The reflex box shield is not going to be enough. Kolamik finds it. This is a huge turn in the momentum of the game. Team Solo mid starting to take a lead. They're actually in the gold lead again by a huge margin as well, getting the shutdown gold onto every single member of Velocity, getting themselves the Kraken gold as well as the turret, combined with another kill onto Dienzio, TSM have all of a sudden swung the momentum back in this game, and this is where you're starting to see the experience come in from Team Solomid. They have played so many games internationally and locally that they know exactly how to turn these Kraken plays around, and I think Velocity were not expecting that at all. And this is one of the big benefits of being on an organization like Team Solomid. You're full-time paid professional, like we heard Flash X saying earlier. All he does is play Vainglory, and... When you play so many games, you can see the plays that maybe others can't, you know? We haven't seen people try and do that sneaky play against a Kraken push at all so far. No, we haven't. I mean, this is very unique. This is the first time I've personally ever seen it, and I think that after watching this game, teams are going to respect that bush a lot more. We did see the flare oh, come yeah. down from Veins to check it. He was a little bit suspicious. He was like, something feels amiss. You know, his spidey senses were tingling. But, doggy senses. Well, the doggy senses, yeah. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, he couldn't sniff that one out uh, fast enough, and TSM were able to capitalize. Now, they're in a position to take the Kraken, and they should be able to pick that one up completely free of charge. Yeah, I mean, there's no real way for Velocity to challenge this. It just feels a little bit too risky for them to do it. Team Solo Mid are going to get a big push off the back of this if they can just play smartly. And because of where the turrets are for Velocity, they actually don't have the potential of making the same maneuver. It would be way too far up the lane to go to that bush that we saw Team Solo Mid make the play from. It certainly would be. Right now, Velocity pretty much held the game in their hands once again compared to what we saw from the, the last time these two teams faced off. They had one bad fight, TSM took advantage of the momentum swing, and now they're the ones pushing onto the base of Velocity. Let's see if Velocity can do anything to stop this push. All right, well, they're gonna be trying to deal with the Kraken, at least for the moment. Look at the damage onto Dienzio right off the bat. There's a the Blast Tremor. That, for the moment, is just gonna be forcing Velocity back. TSM don't wanna commit for a fight, but they do want to take down these turrets. Vayne's gonna jump in. Flash X is taking a lot of damage, but Dienzio can't necessarily get onto the right target. Mixi is just wiping the turrets out on the backside. Flash X does go down. Cold Amik as well. Mixi, he is trying to take down the Vein Crystal at the moment. The Kraken is still extremely healthy. I don't know if Velocity can deal with this. Kraken. After such a strong performance, they might oh. actually lose game one. It's so close. I don't know if they can kill it in oh, time. No. Two more auto attacks. Two more. One, one more. more. One more. Oh, they Velocity have done it. They keep their hopes alive. Oh, my God. 
The game is still going on. That was unbelievable. <laughs> Velocity. Wow. Just enough DPS to take down the Kraken. <laughs> And they're still in the game. Come on, this is game one. Don't do this to my voice. This is game one, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Game one of Team Solomid versus HH Velocity. Woo! I was meant to be saving my voice for Lost Boy Tough. Hey, we're... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, at this rate, you're not going to have an opportunity to do because we're 22 minutes into the game. Gold is basically even. Kill advantage in the favor of Velocity right now. Where is the momentum? Who... who does, who owns the momentum, AJ? Neither, I, uh, neither right now. Neither right now. They are they are both just sitting on their own side of the map. TSM, they're yes, just sitting uh, by their turret yeah. right now. Even though there's no Kraken threat. Because what do you do? I mean, if you lose a fight, you lose the game. At yeah. this point, pretty much. Death time is a pretty long at this point in the game. Uh, but, I mean, let's just quick take quickly take stock of the items. Eve of Harvest has now been picked up for Dienzio. Crucible, Atlas Pauldron finished for Veins. Uh, very similar for Aloha. He's completed that Atlas Pauldron as well. Pretty low in terms of the gold, but still going to be doing a fair amount of damage. <laughs> Velocity, going to recall because okay, they think it's the safest it. thing to do. No, they're going for the push. Oh, they're actually going to go for the fight maybe Attack here. The That's going to force out the Blast Tremor uh, from Flash X. He might be going for that soon. They find the turret. You can see real respect from TSM right now coming through. Veins going to eat that Look damage. Look at Dienzio. Blast Tremor finally, but there's no follow-up. Veins, he is eating so much on the front line, but Dienzio, he's going to use Wade for it. He's going Dienzio. in. He finds Mitchie. He gets the first kill. Flash X and Colby. He's going to do it. Below. Dienzio is still alive. They might be able to pick up this oh, they've done it. Themselves. I think they what can! What is this? They've got a minion oh, they, wave! They've got the minions, they got the minions, they can do this! You can hear the crowd cheering! This is gonna be game one going over to House and Hammond's Velocity! What a first game of this series! We said this is a, a matchup worthy of the finals. I'm telling you, it absolutely is. Guys, give it up for those teams!